Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon Geeky Sparkles is sitting this one out, but we're going to talk about uh, Disney and Netflix. You know, we did a video a couple of days ago talking about the earnings call. Uh, Disney claims to have beaten Netflix in subscribers, total subscribers, that they're the number one streaming service out there, Disney Plus. And the rap is like, yeah, not so fast. So we're going to talk about this. It seems like uh, they're saying, hey, Disney better watch their back. Their numbers are not going to be this good forever. And they actually mention Marvel and Star Wars interest decline as being part of the reason. So uh, pretty interesting stuff. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Your support is greatly appreciated. Over 274,000 subs. Uh, speaking of support, Go out to Indiegogo. I'm going to put a link in the comments and uh, sign up to be notified when we launch Crimson Wren from Clownfish Studios. It's a 130 plus page hardcover graphic novel, manga style, animated style, graphic novel, full color, story by Geeky, script by Geeky and myself, and art by the uh, very, very talented Jose Garcia, who's done work for DreamWorks, Cartoon, Net uh, Cartoon Network, Netflix, you name it. Um, He's, he's done it. So anyway, uh, let's talk about Netflix. Let's talk about Disney. And uh, let's talk about these numbers because, you know, it's it's pretty interesting. We've been saying that we think Disney is kind of playing, um, well, they're kind of fudging the numbers a little bit, right? Uh, not that they've, they've ever done that before. Disney's never done that. But um, yeah, this is interesting. Why Disney shouldn't celebrate beating Netflix's global subscribers just yet. Here are the charts. This is coming from Parrot Analytics. Uh, they said there are lingering questions surrounding the strategy for Disney Plus and Hulu in order to continue growth. Now, there's been talk, and we actually brought it up multiple occasions, that uh, Disney Plus and Hulu might merge at some point, which means that they would lose uh, you know, numbers probably from Hulu because they would just roll them into Disney Plus. Disney Plus reported its third quarter results. It became clear that Disney had achieved something big, 20, uh, 221.1 million total subscribers. Okay, here's the fine print. Across all Disney services, Disney Plus, Disney Plus Hotstar, Hulu, and ESPN Plus pulled ahead of Netflix's total global subscriber count of 220 million, but it may be too premature to celebrate. While the realization that Disney has beat Netflix in terms of global subscribers may sound surprising, it really shouldn't be. Disney has been the leader for a long time in terms of the total demand for shows that fall under its corporate ownership, according to Pair Analytics, which takes into account consumer research, streaming, downloads, and social media, among other engagement. Last quarter's result is a good indicator that Disney is finally translating their lead in total demand to the corporate level. But you got to realize that is the combined total for all these services, and there's, there's uh, overlap. So whereas a household is going to have Netflix and just Netflix, the same household is going to have that bundle. And that's why they keep doing this bundle, pushing this bundle, because then they can say, oh, we've got more total subscribers because one person may be subscribed to Disney plus Hulu, ESPN plus, and they count as like three people, but they're really not three. It's really not three subscriptions. It's really not three people. It's one person. They had to buy the bundle. Expect the future to look more like this as companies claw back the rights to their own content. Uh, they're talking about Warner Brothers Discovery and HBO Max. Disney looks to be in a stronger position than ever in the new streaming landscape. Several observations should give any of the company's executives pause before taking a victory lap. Okay, here's where it gets really interesting. Again, this is coming from The Wrap. This is a Hollywood news site. Uh, this is not, uh, you know, some fandom menace site or some some stuff like that, right? A year ago, Disney Plus had four of the five most in-demand streaming originals by U.S. audience demand in uh, April through June. This past quarter, it had two. Uh, in a show of overconfidence, Disney Plus scheduled Obi-Wan Kenobi to debut directly against Stranger Things Season 4. Stranger Things drew several times more demand uh, than Obi-Wan Kenobi with both global and U.S. audiences. Disney Plus pushed back the next Star Wars live-action series and or from August 31st to September 21st in order to avoid competing with HBO's House of the Dragon and Amazon's Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. 
Losing the Indian Premier League cricket streaming rights will cause Disney's global subscriber numbers to take a hit. We've been talking about this. You will not see that subscriber loss in the uh, the last earnings call be in the next earnings call because people were saying that they could lose upwards of 20 million subscribers in India because they they didn't renew the uh, Premier Cricket League right, right. So sports, you know, cricket. I, I had no idea cricket was that big in India, but apparently it's like the NFL uh, over there in, in India. Disney Plus's reliance on franchises, especially Marvel and Star Wars, to drive subscriptions is as strong as ever. Uh, among streamers in the U.S., Disney is notably dependent on franchises with about 50% of demand for catalog coming from a show belonging to one of the franchises. These properties will help Disney Plus retain much of its sizable subscriber base. Uh, we've talked about this before, though. There are other analysts that are saying that Star Wars and Marvel are on the decline. The interest is declining. And we saw that Obi-Wan basically got its ass kicked by Stranger Things, and they had to move Andor so they didn't compete with Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings. You know, so, I mean, if it's really that strong, if Star Wars is really that strong of a brand, it should be able to hold its own against anything. And we've seen the numbers for uh, the Marvel shows decline show after show after show. If Disney Plus is to look outside of Marvel and Star Wars for subscriber growth, there's potential uh, option in-house, which brings us to the biggest question, what is the plan for Hulu? The service, including FX uh, content on Hulu, has accounted for a steady stream of uh, critical hits with outstanding demand. They talk about some of the shows. Um, Disney Bundle is one of the best values available to U.S. streaming consumers, but would it make more sense for Hulu and Disney Plus to be folded into the same platform like Discovery and HBO Max, something we've been talking about for many, many, many months before the activist investor. We said, sounds like they're prepping Disney Plus to be the, uh, the flagship product. And when the Comcast deal is up, they're going to fold all their uh, adult content into Disney Plus and they only need one streaming service. But that's going to take that. The numbers are going to take a hit because instead of subscribing to Hulu and Disney Plus and you counting for two subscriptions, your household now counts for one subscription. Uh, Comcast minority stake in Hulu complicates plans for that in the immediate future, which means Disney needs to make a decision on whether it will buy out its Hulu partner. In terms of demand for all shows on the platform, Hulu is just behind Netflix and a theoretical combination of Hulu and Disney Plus would healthily beat out the combination of HBO Max and Discovery Plus, but that's not what they're going for. They're going for Netflix. Um, one reason Hulu was an important part of Disney was that it could house programming for more mature audiences, but now that Disney Plus is already streaming the TVMA rated Netflix Marvel series and opening itself up to other R rated fare, there should be less concern about adult programming it's time for Disney to make some decisions. Uh, yeah, but the problem is, again, if they consolidate their services, they're going to lose numbers. Because, again, you might be counting for three subscriptions, and if they fold everything into just one platform, which makes the most sense, honestly, to do, they're not going to be able to pad the numbers. So this is kind of how Disney is like, oh, look, we've got total subscribers across all of our platforms, not realizing that they're not uniques. You know, it's kind of like uh, when you look at Google Analytics on a website, look at all the page views we have. Well, how many of those page views are actually unique users? And that's the thing they're not telling people. How many, how many uh, unique subscribers do you have? Because it shouldn't count if you've got a person subscribed to three of your services. It should count as one subscriber. Anyway. That's, uh, this is Disney math, right? Disney math. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. And we'll talk later.